Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So this morning I will be showing you all my morning skincare routine and also making some iced coffee and we're also going to be making a lemon coffee cake which you know that I love during my vlogs to do like at least one cooking thing. I say that as if I've done a million. I only have two others up on my channel. I'll link them down below if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I like to cook. This is baking, so it's a little bit different. We'll see how it goes. I think I'll be okay. I think it should be fine. But my arm is getting tired already from holding my camera up. So let's get into the bathroom and I'm going to show you, well, we're gonna start my routine because I'm gonna do a mask first and then I'll get into my routine. Uh, so let's head into the bathroom. Okay, so I've just moved into where I normally film because lighting in the bathroom was doing that weird thing like where it like gets lines across the screen and my ring light is in like a setup that I can't just move it to the bathroom so I decided to just come over here and we're going to apply our mask over here. This is my bag of skincare <laughs> in this nice uh, hefty sealer bag. Very glamorous, I know. So the mask that we're going to use first, I do once a week, and it is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It's that one that you see all over TikTok that like looks like blood is dripping down people's faces. I am not a skincare specialist by any means. I literally only got into skincare like two months ago now. I have been watching Hiram and his channel is all about skincare, so I'll link it down below. So that's where I've gotten a lot of my information and also, um, Oh my gosh, Angie from Hot and Flashy. I've learned a lot from her. I will also link her channel down below. So both AHAs and BHAs are exfoliants. Now AHAs are primarily used for mild hyperpigmentation like age spots, melasma, and scars, which is perfect because I have a lot of scarring from when I had acne from when I was younger. Enlarged pores, again, I still have those. My notes are over here fine lines and surface wrinkles and uneven skin tone. So I have been starting to get some fine lines like right here. That's really it, like I'm pretty young, so I guess I don't really have many wrinkles. And then BHAs are primarily used for acne and sun damage. I still get acne even though I'm in my late 20s. So the only way to actually keep my acne away though is by using this face wash right here. Obviously none of this is sponsored by the way. So this is from Neutrogena and it's their oil-free acne wash and this has salicylic acid in it and it's 2% salicylic acid which is the main, like that is the acid you use if you have whiteheads. Ugh, sorry, it's just a fact of life, okay? And that is technically a BHA, not an AHA. Okay. Um, I use technically then a BHA every day. I also use an AHA every day. Oh no, my mirror is falling, hello. I use lactic acid at night. If you're interested in seeing my nighttime skincare routine, let me know. Um, yeah, okay. So I just did a full dropper. Oh, this looks good, okay. And I really like to focus this on my nose because that's where, and like right in this area, because that's where my enlarged pores are. And like I said, I use this once a week, so every Tuesday. It helps just to have like a dedicated day. Uh, so yeah, Tuesdays are my random day for this. And I normally do it at night, but for the sake of this video, I'm doing it now. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just making sure it's all over. 19 right now, so at 29, I will get this off. You do not want to leave this on for more than 10 minutes. It's like written all over the packaging on this. Do not let it on for more than 10 minutes. So I need to go rinse my hands and I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna get some coffee while we're waiting for this to do its thing. All right, I am too lazy to get my tripod all set up. So yes, there's all my ice cream. <laughs> Exposed. Okay, hold on. This is harder than I expected. Dang it. I'll get my tripod. Here is my glass. And yes, I totally have a breadstick on top of my microwave because that's where it fit. So I put four ice cubes into my glass. And then my favorite creamer lately is Italian sweet cream. I feel like this isn't like a very popular creamer, but I've been so into it lately. It's my favorite. There's my creamer. It's like right there. Kind of a lot, but whatever. I feel like you 
you need more for iced coffee. And then every morning we make a full pot of coffee and we have this designated guy in our fridge. There's that. And then my favorite thing, oh my gosh, this is also why I've been so into iced coffee lately. This is why I'm so into iced coffee, not just because it's summertime, but I got these glass straws off of Amazon. I'll link them down below, but they came eight in a pack. And then there's also two of the little cleany things. It is so satisfying to drink iced coffee from a glass straw. I love these. So I just give this a stir. And it's so satisfying to like watch it go through the clear straw. Also um, with metal ones, I feel like you can't see whether they're like clean inside or not. And the glass ones you can see. And I've had them for a couple weeks now and I haven't broken one yet. That was my biggest fear was that I was going to break one and it hasn't happened. They seem really durable and you can see too, it's like a really nice thick glass. That's not cold enough. That was coffee from this morning. All right, I need another ice cube. Okay. Uh, yep. All right, I only have two minutes left of this mask and I'm gonna go rinse it off. Again, this is not one of those where you want to leave on for longer than recommended. Like normally for a hydrating mask, I'll be like, oh, it says 15 minutes, 25 kind of thing. This one, like 10 minutes max, because it is a lot of acid on your face. You don't want chemical burns. So, and I'll be back with it all rinsed off. Okay, so that is all rinsed off. And just so you know, everything that I'm using is very affordable. I'm using products from The Ordinary and The Inky List, and then I also have CeraVe products. So CeraVe is at the drugstore, at Walmart, and then The Ordinary and The Inky List is found on Sephora. However, their products range from like five to maybe $12 max. So they're really just known for like having ingredients, like their products are just named after what ingredient the product is mainly for. And if you don't know about skincare, it's extremely intimidating. I did a lot of research to try to find what I think my skin needs. Again, I'm not any type of like cosmetologist or dermatologist or specialist in any way. So I think it's working. I don't know. Uh, I could be like totally messing up my face, but I kind of seriously doubt it. Okay. I think we're good. So as I go through the products, I'll explain why I use them. I don't normally use a vitamin C, but I got this from Sephora and it's Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Drunk Elephant is so insanely expensive. The Ordinary has a pure form of vitamin C that I would probably recommend. But anyway, I got this for free, so I use it. And I just do like three pumps of that and I get that on first. I know that vitamin C is supposed to be like brightening and everything. Actually, if you want to know more, um, I did 15 black owned beauty brands that you can support right now. Still stand by that. You can go and watch that video. I'll leave it in the description box down below. I talk about vitamin C in that video. Moving on, I use the Inky Lists Q10. Now, my notes are over here. So Q10 is a coenzyme that is found naturally in all body cells. And as we age, just like a lot of other things, the Q10 in our cells decreases. And with that decrease of Q10, it makes our skin more prone to sun damage. And then it's also more susceptible to fine lines and wrinkles. I don't know if that was like the smoothest explanation, but there we go. The next product that I use is the Ordinary's Matrixyl 10% plus HA. So HA stands for hyaluronic acid. Matrixyl is like proven to work in skincare, like clinical results. So it's results like are actually long lasting. Like over time, you will see a difference. It's not one of those things where you put it on and then like for an hour, your skin looks good. Like this is actually supposed to help your skin over a long period of time, as long as you're using it. Matrixyl's job is to actually 
help your body produce collagen, which then reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So what I do, it's in its little dropper here, and I just do about that much, and then I put this on all over. So really like my thing is between like my pores and texture, and then anti-aging. So like I said, I started to get like fine lines like right here, and I feel like it kind of like makeup will look heavy very easily right there. And I think it's because of like, I do this face a lot. <laughs> and I think it's because of that. So I'm like trying to get my body to, you know, stay looking young. Also with this, the hyaluronic acid is super moisturizing. So hyaluronic acid actually pulls moisture from the air and like sucks it into your skin. So it can hold 10 times its weight in water. So that's why you'll see a lot of products have hyaluronic acid mentioned. And it's because it is an awesome ingredient when it comes to like actually moisturizing your skin. So there we go. And then the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion is the last thing that I use. So this is my like overall basic moisturizer with my SPF included. And this has SPF 30 in it. And if you've watched my videos recently, this is what I keep talking about when I say I reapply SPF like crazy. It goes on my face first thing in the morning. This also has hyaluronic acid in it and it has ceramides in it. Ceramides are lipids that help form the skin's barrier and help skin retain moisture. Ceramides also help the skin protect against environmental aggressors like irritants and pollution. So the hyaluronic acid is going to suck the moisture into your skin and then the ceramides are going to help keep it there is basically what I think it's saying. I do two pumps of that, and I don't know if this has a white cast to it or not. It probably does, but I'm not taking any photos like in flash photography, so I don't care. I make sure to like push it into my brows, get it the whole way back, and then whatever's left, I just take down my neck. I make sure to get under my eyes. I ran out of an eye cream, which you technically don't need an eye cream. Whatever's safe for your face should also be safe for underneath your eyes is what I have learned. So I do make sure to very gently just take my moisturizer and bring it under my eyes. And that's all I do for that. And that's actually it. That is my whole skincare routine. So every morning I use four products. That mask is once a week. There are other masks that I use just like whenever I feel like it, but this one I do use religiously once a week. And that's my morning routine. How fun. I'm going to look like a bit of a grease ball, even though I do, actually I didn't mention that. Um, This CeraVe moisturizer is specifically for, it says normal to oily skin, and they do have one for dry skin. So this is just what I use. I was making sure that was rubbed in. <laughs> this is the one that I use because as you all know, say it with me, I have oily skin. So. That's the one I use. And look how much, oh, like I'm almost out of it. Ugh, so sad. I have other ones to try then, so we'll see. I like that one though. Anyway, let's move on with our day. The first thing that I have to do is look at these wretched nails. Ratchet? Is that ratchet? Is that the word? Look at these disgusting nails, awful. My thing is that as soon as it starts peeling up on one corner, I do that thing where I like take and I push it and then I peel it off. Oh, like look at that. Oh, no, nope, it broke. Okay, so yesterday, I mean, four o'clock, my nails looked fine. They were perfect. They were on for like over a week and they looked great. And then one corner came up on one nail. And then by nine o'clock, this is what they looked like. So I'm gonna go redo my nails and we'll see what fun things I pick out today. I'm feeling fun, I'm feeling festive. It's a really gloomy day out. It's disgusting. I need something to brighten up my life and that'll be my nail polish. So I'm gonna go do that. And you know what, let's do like a fun little like transition here. So my nails are going to go from this to this. Kinda cute, I'm into it. It's like a very like sherbet looking type of deal. I need to zoom out. Oh man, that is too close for comfort. Uh, very sherbet kind of look. I'm so into it. I guess I should tell you what colors I used. Let me grab those. Oh, if you did not know, I have a how to paint your nails video up on my channel. I'll link it down in the description box below. Uh, go check it out because if I do say so myself, I mean like my nails look pretty dang good. 
the colors that I used, I'll have everything linked down below, but I use Sesh base coat and top coat I get from Sally's. They come in like a little pack. Um, I don't think you can buy the pack online, but you can buy it in stores. So I just use this clear base coat and I use the instant gel effect top coat. My nails will literally last two weeks if I don't touch them, like plus, if I don't like chip off the corners. This top coat is amazing and I feel like it seriously looks like I'm wearing gel polish, but I did it at home. I use this Sally Hansen Color Therapy in the shade 110 Well Well Well. So it's just a white and I put that down first and then on top of that, the yellow is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in 349 Mellow Yellow. And then the uh, like peachy color is from Essie. It's Peach Side Babe 1125. So that is that. So again, I put white on all of my nails and then I put those colors on top put on the top coat and that was it. So now, very exciting, I'm hungry. We're gonna make some lunch. It is 1.20 and no, for once, so I put the box down, I'm not making yogurt and granola because you all know I love my yogurt and granola. Uh, oops. <laughs> the kitchen light is on because we're going to go make some ramen and I know you're probably thinking, everyone knows how to make ramen. Like, why are you showing this? Sorry, the lighting is going to be absolute crap. Oh man. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to make some ramen and not on the stove. That's the thing here. So I get a bowl as I get smacked. I didn't actually get smacked, okay. I'm going to get this bowl filled with water and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for five minutes. But there's more to explain. I, hold on, okay. Okay, so here is my bowl of water <laughs> and five minutes. All right, I already have my block of ramen out and I just plop her down in the water. Okay, shut it and then I let it go until it gets down to two minutes. Uh, start. Okay, now I'm going to take my fork. I'm gonna flip this. Normally I do this with two hands. I don't want it to splash. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. That way you're getting both sides of the noodles cooked and I submerge it. And then I just let it go for the rest of the two minutes. Okay, so now for the scary part when I drain this. <laughs> my nails are still kind of wet. Uh, I don't want to ruin them. Okay, so what I do. Oh my goodness, where's my fork at? Okay. I hate broth. This has been a public service announcement. I hate broth. And so I come out. <laughs> so I drain out all of the water from my ramen because that's disgusting. Okay, all right, now I take the flavor packet, dump it. It's fine, my counter's clean. Oh my gosh. Oh man, um, I look great. Don't judge me right now, okay? Uh, you're seeing me at what I would say is not my best. I am so shiny right now, it's actually ridiculous. Holy crap. So there you have it, microwave ramen, not on the stove top. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat this and once my nails are dry, then I'll come back and finally make that lemon coffee cake and hopefully may I'll do something with my face too. So that way we don't have to yeah. One more product to talk about before I wrap up this video. I didn't want to talk about too many products in this video because I just didn't want I just didn't want this video to be too long. But I did want to
Okay, I'm back and I told you I was gonna do something with my face. So I actually just filmed this look. It is up on my channel already. It is using every palette in my collection. I'll link it down below in the description box. Um, it was a lot of fun and now here you can see the result, but since it's already up on my channel, it's not like I'm spoiling anything. So here we are and now it is time for the lemon crumb cake which was supposed to be a surprise for Chris because we that's like our favorite thing is lemon, like lemon and raspberry stuff. Even our wedding cake was lemon raspberry. So yeah, making this, we're gonna switch up the angle and let's get started. Oh, and of course I will have this recipe, um, which I got off Pinterest, linked down below. All right, first things first, I already have, well, maybe we'll get that way. I already have my oven preheated to 350 and here is our eight by eight pan. And I don't have parchment paper, so I'm gonna spray this. Right onto my iPad. All right, it says in a medium bowl, stir together cream cheese, sugar, egg, and lemon juice until smooth and creamy, set aside. So my cream cheese is already softened as well. Flop her in. Quarter cup of sugar. One egg. and one and a half teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. Get out of their seed. No! <laughs> oh geez. There. A little extra lemon, why not? Everyone loves some lemon. And now we mix. Okay, it probably could be creamier, but that's as long as I want to do that for, cause lazy. Setting off to the side. Okay, this is, oh my God, this is so far down. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay, Um, this says that you need a stand to mixer, which yes, I actually have a KitchenAid and I've never used it. It was my grandmother's, um, so I'm nervous because I don't wanna like break it or anything, cause you know, I feel like it's like an heirloom, but it's not. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm gonna use my KitchenAid for the first time. Hi, Bentley. <laughs> All right, I have successfully set up the KitchenAid. I washed it, and I'm pretty sure it was in storage for like three plus years. Well, I know it was, so. That is all good. And now we're going to move into the coffee cake itself. So I have to, in this bowl, mix in one and a half cups of flour. A half teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of baking soda. quarter teaspoon salt and mix it all together. Medium bowl, look at that. I don't need a medium bowl. Okay, what is next? Oh my gosh, the kitchen is a freaking mess. Okay, here's the KitchenAid and I need to add in the vegetable oil, which I don't have vegetable oil, I have canola oil. So that's what I'm going to use. And I need a half cup of this. Three quarters cup of sugar. And we mix. Lock. All right, now I need half a cup of Greek yogurt. The only Greek yogurt that Aldi had was this, whole milk and plain. So I hope that this is okay, because I have no idea. Oh my goodness. I think that was a half cup. I couldn't really see if it was squished to the bottom or not. So that was supposed to be the zest of one lemon and I don't know if that worked or not. I did cut myself, so that's good. Um, 
Do I need a band-aid now? Gosh dang it. <sighs> Hold please. All right, so so I don't bleed into this. I now have a cool Jurassic Park Band-Aid on. <laughs> and let's just, let's add the lemon juice in now. I'm just gonna squirt all of this in here. It says one tablespoon. And this is one juicy lemon. So I think this will definitely get us covered. Ah, ow, that hurt. <laughs> And it's not made for baking. Whatever's left of this half, I'm gonna squirt in there because I feel like it can't be too lemony, you know? Oh, look at all my seeds in there, dang it. What the heck? Um, okay, I'm gonna fish out my seeds with this. Yeah, this is why people don't bake. Oh, see, now they're even in something. I don't want to take out other ingredients. All right, I think that's all of them. Let's see. Okay, so pretty much we're going to now mix this up and then add in our dry ingredients slowly until it's all nice and smooth and don't over mix. Okay. Okay, it says not to over mix, so that's all I'm going to do. Uh, okay, everything's a mess. Man, if you bake for fun, freaking kudos to you because, wow, everything is a hot mess right now. Okay, how do I even get that off? I'm, okay, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I don't know. <laughs> Spoon the batter. Oh, there it goes. See, I knew that would happen. Spoon the batter into the prepared dish and smooth it out. This is a challenge. Uh, I think that's good, right? Sure. All right, it says spread it to the edges. Carefully spread the cream cheese mixture over top, spreading it almost to the edges. That's what we're doing now. Looks good. Okay, now that's finally done. Oh my gosh, and that was like in the way. Well, there it is. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, I still have to make the crumb on top? Stop it, I thought that was gonna be for after. Dang it, okay, well, hmm. My oven has been ready for so long now. All right, let's do that. Flour, sugar, and I'm gonna crush it. Great, okay, I can do that. This is fine. We're going to the quarter cup because my half cup is dirty and I don't feel like cleaning it yet. Now I need a new butter knife too, oh God. All right, so you need half a cup of flour. Quarter cup of sugar. And two tablespoons of cold cubed butter. I'm gonna do a little bit more though because um, this shouldn't surprise anyone in, who actually knows me, but I freaking love butter. So I'm gonna do like three tablespoons. And I know that's gross to love butter, but I don't care. Okay, there's my cubed butter. In you go. Oops, wait, where'd that just go? Oh, it made it in, okay. And I guess I'll do this with a fork because I don't have, what did they say to use? Finally, don't eat that, it's a lemon seed. Pastry cutter, yes, I know what a pastry cutter is, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna use a fork. This is hard, I don't like this. <laughs> Dang it, and Chris is playing video games. So how am I supposed to make him come do the hard part? Well, that's what I normally do. Wow, no, this is really hard. Seriously.
seriously, whoever does baking for fun like this, like, why? I don't think I'm that weak, but what the heck? Dude, I'm doing more butter. There's no way it's only two tablespoons. I'm doing like all of it. Okay, I did four tablespoons. I'm going to come back when I'm done with this. Okay, I felt like all of a sudden, as soon as I turned off the camera and like worked it, it like happened so fast. So that's awesome. Uh, not nearly as bad as I thought. It's just like once you get it going, like there, there it goes. Great. Now, finally, ugh, let's get this on here. Where's my thing? Here it is. I feel like it's important to get the edges because nobody wants a crappy edge. And then you can just like fill it in in the middle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bentley's over here looking like something fell. Nothing fell, bud, sorry. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay, this looks really good. Okay, wow. I'm going to put this in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes, and when it's done, I will have a clean kitchen, I will have eaten dinner, and we will have a beautiful dessert, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It should be fine. I feel like I did pretty well. All right, see you in 45 minutes. All right, she's out, and Mm, wait, crap. Actually, Chris, come here. Be my cameraman. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so you just saw the finished result. I'm not going to eat it right now because it's seven o'clock, but I am ending this vlog here. So I'll let you know in the description box how it went. By the way, I wound up leaving it in the oven for 50 minutes. So if you make the same thing, now you know. Bentley, hello. All right, so that is it for today's vlog. If you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Um, videos are every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Again, all of these skincare products, the Pinterest, everything will be linked down below as usual. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and go have a good one. Bye. There are like people outside right there, like literally right across from me. Just don't look at me. Okay. Anyway, there are people, I can hear them. No. No, you're fine. Shush. All right, I'm gonna get my tripod. Tripod. <laughs> oh, okay. Combat the, uh, oh wait. Hold on. This is stress, which is why it's so essential for smitten or skin. And this act, and the, I do two squirts of, squirts, gross. <laughs> One half teaspoon. Teaspoon? <laughs> Oops. 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 Ow.